Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm using a different camera today. I've got a new vlogging camera, but I'm actually liking it as my general camera. Let me know in the comment section below if you prefer this. So in this video, I'm gonna be telling you why I'm eligible to buy my second home for a buy to let property, and also why you can be eligible to buy your second home too. So if you're new to my channel, I bought my home a few years ago now, and I've been umming and ahhing about buying a second home, and if it's worth it, I actually did a video why I'm not doing it, but I've changed my mind. So I'm gonna tell you why I can buy a second home and hopefully this will let you know if you can as well. So firstly, to have a buy to let mortgage, you don't actually have to own a home already. Buy to let mortgages are homes you're not gonna live in. They're often homes which you rent out to other people and that sort of pays off your mortgage plus a bit of extra profit for you. And eventually you may sell it and by that point the house value may go up and you'll also get profit from it. That tends to be the typical goal for doing it. So to be eligible for this you need to have 25% of the deposit of the house that you are going to buy or the flat. So say if the home is £100,000, you'll need £25,000. However, if you already own a property, you can actually take equity out of your home. So for me personally, my home has gone up. So I'm going to take the equity out of my home and pull it into another property to then gain profit. And as I've said before in other videos, I want to start building my passive income. So another element to buying your second home is that you need to earn £25,000 or more. And that is just in case, say if the tenants aren't able to pay one month, if it's unoccupied, or say if your interest rate goes up, then you are able to pay it yourself because if you do not earn any money and there is no rent, you can't pay off your mortgage and obviously the banks want you to be able to pay off your mortgage. So with a buy to let mortgage people often do interest only rather than a repayment mortgage. A repayment mortgage is the typical mortgage people will do for the home they are living in, their residential property because often after 25 years or 40 years you don't always want to sell your home. With an interest only mortgage you're only paying the interest so you'll literally be paying just the interest every month. I personally would pick an interest only mortgage when I'm buying my second home that way I can get more passive income and also I don't really plan on having the property forever. And if you do buy an interest only mortgage, I would actually suggest getting the longest amount of years. So usually you can choose between 25 years to 40 years. So I'd go for the maximum because for instance, say if it got to 25 years and you want to keep the property, you would have to come up with the value of that home and pay it off there and then because you've spent all this time paying off the interest. So you'd have to pay off the actual house. You never know what's gonna happen. You never know what's gonna happen to the area that you buy a property in. And also you don't know what your circumstance might be in 25 years. Obviously this depends on you. And when you speak to your mortgage broker, they can advise you on your situation. But me personally, I'd go for the maximum amount of years. And often buy to let mortgages, their interest rate is higher than the usual. But at the moment in the UK, the interest rate is quite low. so. I think now is a good time to buy but obviously it's up to you whenever you're ready and when you do choose your mortgage it will be between a fixed variable or a tracker mortgage I personally would pick a fixed mortgage because I like to know where I am every month I don't want any like surprises that this month is going to be higher or lower I would rather just know for the next five years I'm going to be paying this amount every month or the next three years or two years. When you go for a lower fixed mortgage, like two years, it is cheaper than five years. Like on my personal home, for instance, I've picked it longer because I'm doing repayments and I am a bit sceptical about what's going to happen after Brexit, our interest rate's going to go up and that's the reason I chose a longer fixed rate because I don't know what's going to happen and that's sort of why I'm doing this now because I have no idea what's going to happen straight after Brexit. I'm trying my best to find a home as soon as possible so that is what I've been doing lately. So to get the best rates and have a wider variety of banks I would suggest going to an independent mortgage broker. They will look at all of the options that you have and they will try their best to maximise everything so you get the best deal. When you go to your mortgage broker they'll obviously look at your salary, you usually have to bring a pay slips, photo ID like your passport, your proof of address and also they will look at the property and how much you'll be getting in rent in compared to your mortgage and obviously for yourself as well you want to be earning the most profit you can every month. You will also need proof of deposit so they will look at your bank statement to check that you have the amount of money in your account or they'll look at your equity and see the value of your home now and then know whether or not you can afford this property. Personally, if I'm going to the mortgage broker, I've seen how much I can gain from different areas, like in profit. 
and it's been a learning curve for me because I'm a real sentimental cow and I like to buy in areas that I'm used to or that I know but I've got to take my heart out of it and start thinking about money and you'll see in my journey of what I'm deciding to do, the changes I've decided to make and obviously once you have decided to buy your home you'll have to get a solicitor and that will cost money, stamp duty will cost money because it's your second home. So everything sort of comes into play when you're buying a home, the location, the amount of rent you'll get back. So they're all things that you need to consider. But if you're watching this and you wasn't aware that you are eligible to buy a second home, I really hope this helped you. And if you have any questions about it or I've missed anything out, please let me know in the comment section below. As I've said, I'm gonna elaborate on every single thing that I do. Even the mistakes that I make, I'll let you know so you don't make them as well. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe as always and I'll see you in my next video